Carol Decker, so lovely to see you. Hi Helen, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm really well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, I'm good. Yeah, it's a nice day here in Oxfordshire. Really, really boiling hot. So um, when I finished all my interviews, I'm going to get out there, have a little glass of wine, chill out a bit later. Yeah. How's it been during the lockdown then? It's, it's been okay. You know, I've got to be honest, it, it's tricky for everybody, isn't it? I, I count my blessings that, you know, we live in the countryside, so we've been able to walk the dog and get out and we're not crammed on top of each other. And I know some people are having such a tough time of it. So every day I sort of like, thank you, you know, karma. But um, it's difficult for everybody. I think it's, it's just like being in an open prison after a while. And we just all want the world to come back to us. And like, I, no matter how much news I listen to, I can't believe what's happened. I can't believe it. It's like being in one of those Armageddon pandemic movies. Yeah, it's absolutely. Just, you know, yeah, so I can't wrap my head. I can't wrap my head around it, to be honest with you. Yeah. But looking at social media, um, it looks like you've been ridiculously busy. <laughs> well, we got um, a couple of tracks recorded um, just before Christmas, and we were going to put some songs out anyway. Excuse me. <coughs> and um, after I got the vocals done in about January when um, Corona was just something that was happening over there in China, you know, sort of something we were watching in the news. So we just carried on working. And then obviously it all kicked off and we were all in lockdown. And, um, and Ronnie, who Rogers, who's my long term partner in Japan, said, well, why don't we put the song out anyway? Because it's a lovely, cheery song. It cheer people up. It gives us something to do. And you can obviously with the the wizardry of technology you can upload your single you know and get it out there on all the the um download um platforms and then he said but you've got to do a video at your house somehow so fortunately um my kids have done a b-tech in creative media production so they can do filming editing special effects everything so, so, i was going to ask you that i was going to ask you because yeah. i think the video is brilliant it's just so cheerful <laughs> and you. so fun and um I, I i just loved it and i just i did wonder who actually made your video yeah so it's your kid yeah well well scarlet she's 22 next week can you believe been sent home from uni poor love it's all kind of fizzled out feel really sorry for her uh, but anyway she did she did the b-tech a couple of years ago and dylan's right in the middle of it in his second year and so they're wizards with the technology they really are you know and um and scarlett did the video for me the other year for run or yeah. the single that was put out so they're really good at it so a bit of bit of a family business <laughs> i don't I noticed that you managed to include the dog as well you have a very beautiful dog we do. We have Finn. He just turned one. He's an Irish setter. And uh, we have Joey the duck. And we have... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, well, we actually had it. It's Joey and Chandler. And then we used household objects, old toys, lots of junk food, you know. Yeah, um, so, thank you. Well, um, the video is up for everyone to see. It's on our To Power official YouTube channel. So if you put in To Power official, be wonderful, then you can, everyone can see the video, yeah. So we did, we had a lot of fun doing it, yeah. And can people download the single then as well? They can. So Be Wonderful by To Power is on all the download platforms, you know, Spotify, Deezer, well, I, I don't know, I've lost track of them. It's, it's out there, Ronnie did that, Ronnie did that. I just do the singing. <laughs> You're looking incredibly glam. Have you had to be doing all your own hair and things all the time then? Or? I, I, I've had, well, I always do most of the time, oh, actually. You? Thank you, thank you for the compliment. Yeah, I love my heated rollers. I've tried all the tonging and the trend. When I have a makeup artist and a hairdresser, they can do all the latest thing. I cannot do it. <laughs> I burn the side of my face, I burn my hand. I know where I stand with my, my old heated rollers. I just whack them in and I, I, I do what I, I know how to do, you know, but obviously, yeah. I'm completely naked from the waist down. Now, last time I spoke to you, you did tell me, <laughs> last, time, <laughs> last time I spoke to you, you did tell me that you'd got a home gym as well. And have you been working out quite a bit? I have, yeah. Um, uh, we have um it's not it's not fancy it's just in the garage and we haven't you know it's full of cobweb spiders and kayaks and we've got um a treadmill stationary bike a punch bag which has been coming in quite handy <laughs> i can imagine being stuck together all the time yeah. i just 
cut out a picture of Richard, put his face on. <laughs> He does, he does <laughs> <laughs> we'll need one of them, don't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Find it stuck to the punch bag. And we've got um, free weights and a bench. And um, I've got a, a vibration plate, vibration trainer, um, that was given to me by um, a personal trainer I know because it's just massive and she's got nowhere to store it. So I said, I'll look after that for you. <laughs> so I do. So I work out um, almost every day and I found that very good as well for um, keeping optimistic. And, you know, you get up in the morning and it's, it's another groundhog day at the moment, yeah. isn't it? So one of the habits I've started and I want to continue is working out every morning. And I, I wake up, especially now it's uh, summer, I'm awake by six, make a coffee by 6.30. I'm in, in the gym, I could grandly call it the gym, in the garage by seven. And that hour to myself, you know, um, it's funny, I don't have to worry about the kids anymore because they're older, but because Finn, our dog, is one, it's like having a baby <laughs> and he doesn't leave you alone. Once he's awake, he's like a big red bear just at you all the time, you know, so he walk in for an hour a day as well. So I, I creep past Scarlett's room where Finn sleeps with her so he can't hear me and then I get into the garage and I put the, what, little, little telly in there and I have an hour to myself, work off all the wine that I drank the night before. <laughs> And um, generally just lift my spirits because you get the endorphins going, you're a sportsman. And so, you know, it really helps, not just with father time and everything going south, but um, it really helps with your mental health, I think. And which, no, I'm not, I'm not laughing at that. I'm just laughing at your description of what happens to us all. Yeah, I know. Well, exactly. The sands, the sands of time do not run up. <laughs> so fighting all that. And also, I, I, especially at the moment, we all need to try and just keep sane and think, this will end. Yeah. And I find that working out really gets all those happy hormones going. You know. Speaking and then of there's it, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, speaking of it ending then, what will be the very first thing that you will do when the lockdown is lifted? I'll go to the pub. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm not that sophisticated a person. I'll go to the pub. I live in a lovely town, Henley-on-Thames, on the river, and we go to the pub. Um, that's right on the river, and the minute I can go there, I will just sit and look at the water and chug a big glass of plonk. I mean, yeah, we're not short of plonk. Probably everyone's drinking more. In fact, some of us reading statistics about sales of alcohol have gone through the I roof. That. Yeah, I meant that. <laughs> <laughs> not surprised, but yeah. But it's that it's that um, shared experience when you go to a pub. I love a good pub. Um, it's a great leveller. You'll get I remember our, well, our pub in London, where I met my husband, actually. Yeah. Picked him up at a bar, old style. But you um, used to run the pub, didn't you? Did you own the oh, pub? Oh, we, we had pubs, not the one yeah. in London. Yeah. No, we had, we had um, gastropub restaurants, yeah, my husband did, yeah. But, um, you know, you'd get a QC, a plumber, a bin man, a taxi driver, an actress, an author, just all different people go to the pub, and I love it. It's not, it's not the same just drinking wine at home so i will go to the pub <laughs> great answer okay i've got um 10 very quick questions if that's okay Ooh, so whatever yeah. comes to your head um yeah. favorite meal that you've cooked during lockdown i'm not much of a cook i'm married to a chef so he's the oh, cook of course so i do the basics i do the kind of bag bowl you know and I've done a couple of those I'm quite good at them I, I get the sauce nice because Richard's taught me how to do it um so Richard did um he did confit of duck which, yeah no he's a stellar stellar cook and we have a very good butchers here which have stayed open they've stayed open they're fantastic he went around the block but we've got some good meat we had um confit of duck which I love yeah favorite film that you've watched on Netflix or on the TV since lockdown started? Oh, that's a toughie. We've been addicted to catastrophe films, actually. Probably, I watched um, 2012 again recently. I just love a mindless yeah. blockbuster. I'd say 2012, yeah. Um, Favourite song that you sing? Ooh. Any at all? Is it your biggest hits or is it, is it one of your biggest hits? Uh, you know what? I don't, I don't sing 
that much. I don't have to. Don't That's you? a bad question. I mean, yeah, I said busman's holiday. Why would I do that? Nobody watching and no Some one's paying. Some people were telling me that you have, keep... <laughs> <laughs> were telling me you have to keep your vocal cords kind of active. No, I haven't done a thing. <laughs> well, I've been saying you'd be wonderful when I've been, Yeah. You know, yeah. You're be wonderful. Um, <laughs> Favourite picture that you've got on your phone? Oh, uh, that would be, I've got my kids. Yeah, my, my kids. I've, I've still got them when they were quite little, actually. And I just, I, I'll look, I was looking at them the, the other day when they were about three and seven, the 21 and 17 now. Yeah, so my kids, yeah. Favourite venue that you've ever performed at? Mm, it's got to be uh, Wembley Arena. Yeah, that's yeah. special to me because to get to that level where we sold that out, I yeah. I love Wembley Arena. Um, Favourite takeaway? Not big on takeaways, actually. Um, the kids have a few No, we, we had an awful Chinese at the beginning of lockdown. <laughs> Just brown food with orange sauce on it. So, no, I can't, I can't answer that. Haven't had a decent takeaway. Is that, is that because your husband's a chef then? Is that you just don't have takeaways or...? No, I don't. In fact, our kids, they get their own, they'll get a Domino's. Ah. But I don't, I'm not a fan of junk food. I'm not, you know, I'm just not, I like good food. Yeah. Um, Favourite alcoholic drink? A good, dry French Cote de Provence rosé. Um, you're probably so healthy because you don't have takeaways and things that you're probably not going to have this either. But I'm not healthy. I'm a complete dipsomaniac. I just eat well. <laughs> just take the guilt away from all the drinking. Yeah. <laughs> favorite chocolate bar oh okay that now what's the brand i like salted caramel oh yeah i like salted caramel I, yeah i love it. it it's it there's a science to that flavor my husband was explaining to me it's the salt and the sugar and the you know um so it's irresistible so i think it might be um lint yeah lint salted caramel yeah favorite place that you've ever visited Ooh, I would say New York, Manhattan. Love it. And finally, the, your favourite TV show that you've ever appeared on? Because you've done some cameo bits as well, haven't you? Oh, appeared on? Yeah. What, in terms of singing? Or just a bit of acting or anything like that? Okay, that, that has to be uh, Mandy, which I did with Diane Morgan last year, which I can. she's the coolest person in the world. You know, she... She does um, The Wipe with Charlie Brooker and she's a, a great actress and a great comedian and an incredibly smart woman and I couldn't believe it when she asked me to be Mandy. So Man Mandy, yeah. Oh, Carol Decker, it's an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Thank you, Helen. <laughs> so lovely. And I'll look yes. forward to seeing you at some point in... Yes, we will. ...2021. Yeah, we will. We will. As Vera and the Queen said, we will meet again and uh, it'll be so wonderful when we do, you know, see you on the other side, as they say. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>